Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will be seeing the algorithm and the code for deleting a specific element from an array. We will be writing our code in C. So let's get started. Suppose we are having an integer array, this, and the elements inside this array are like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and uh, 7. Suppose I wish to remove this element 4 from this array then my basic uh, brute force approach would be like this i will be shifting all the elements after 4 that is 5 6 and 7 one position to the left okay and i'll reduce the size of array so element 4 will be replaced by its uh, uh, next value and element 5 will be replaced by the next 6 will be replaced by uh, the other one and the array size will be reduced so this is how you can um, delete an element from the array so I, i'll explain you a bit better way in this see over here you are having two three four five six and seven i i wish to remove this element four so see this as i said that all the elements after four will be shifted to one position back all the elements after four will be shifted one position back so as I said, 4 will be the value in at this index 2 will be substituted by the value at index 3. So 4 has been substituted by value 5 and as you can see, uh, 5 was uh, substituted by value 6 and uh, 6 was substituted by 7. Now this block is remaining empty. So we will reduce the size of array and like this we will on uh, and like this we will be having our final array like 2 3 5 6 and 7 and uh, we have removed element 4 from the array now we will proceed to the implementation of this algorithm in this program i'm going to keep everything uh, user defined so the size of array elements of the array the number which is to be deleted everything will be based on the user inputs so to start with we'll uh, start by adding the uh, header files call the main function so we will initialize a few variables of integer data type so n will be the size of array t will be the number uh, which the user wants to delete from the array and uh, now uh, the user should see a message stating enter the size of array uh, the size of array We will read the value using scanner percent B and percent N. Now we will initialize array of that size of size N. We will ask the user to uh, enter the array elements. and uh, using a for loop we will read all the values entered by the user so we will also use an iterator i we uh, for uh, traversing uh, through the loop so i is 0 i is less than n i plus plus we will read all the elements entered by the user person d comma and array i Now we will ask the user to enter the number which is supposed to be deleted from the array. Enter the number to be deleted. And we will read that value. Key. Now, uh, you have to make sure this thing that the number you wish to delete is actually present in the array okay so uh, it it might be the case that uh, your array elements are uh, let's say one two three four and you ask the uh, program to delete five which is not in the array so you should actually search for the number that you wish to delete is actually present in the array or not for this thing you can uh, use uh, many uh, 
searching algorithms like a linear search or binary search uh, the case with binary search is you cannot apply that algorithm if your array is in unsorted manner so uh, uh, make sure that uh, if the array is in sorted then you use binary search method to at least check whether the element you wish to delete is uh, present or not else you can use a linear search to traverse through the array and uh, tell you whether that element is uh, present if yes then it will be deleted and if not uh, the user will be um, getting an output on the screen that uh, the element is not present in the array in this case i'll be simply traversing through the array okay, for uh, checking whether it is there or not so use a for loop i is zero i is uh, less than n and i plus plus and inside we'll have, we'll have a condition that if the element at the ith index is equal to key then will come out of the loop that is we'll use break statement to come out of the loop and outside the loop there will be a condition that if i is less than n here comes the main algorithm but so we will uh, declare a temporary variable j for int j equal to i j less than n j plus plus now i am running a loop from j equal to i till n minus 1 and inside what i'll do is i'll copy the elements and inside the loop i'll be copying the numbers ahead like see here i wanted to delete 4 so i shifted 5 one step behind so this is what i'll do inside the loop so rrj is equal to rrj plus 1 so this is how the value stored ahead is copied to the previous uh, previous index and once we are done with the loop part we'll reduce the size of array that is n minus minus or you can write n equal to n minus 1 anyway you like it after reducing the size of array we will have to print it so for int j equal to 0 then j is less than n now the size of n has been reduced and all the elements have been uh, shifted one block uh, behind and uh, j plus plus and we will simply print all the elements print f person d comma arrj will come out of the loop now suppose this if condition is not satisfied which means that the number which you wish to delete is not present in the array then we'll use the else statement and we'll print that number to be deleted is not in the array like this and we are done and return zero let's check whether our code is working as expected or not save it we'll run so we'll enter the size of array let's say size of array is six two three four five six seven I wish to delete number 4 and see we are having the output 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. Let's try for another case where the number is not present in the array. So we'll take a smaller array, any random numbers. Let's say 8. Number to be deleted is not in the array. So thus we are getting the expected output, and this is how this is the algorithm to delete a specific element from the array. So basically the elements to the right of the number which is supposed to be deleted are shifted to left by 1 and you reduce the size of array by 1. So this is it for this video. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do give me your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.